all of you <clears throat> across today would have seen everything that's happened uh, with Mason Greenwood, uh, with his girlfriend, Harriet Robson, the photos that were published on Instagram, the videos that were published on Instagram, the audio file that was published on Instagram, all of which has since been deleted, and the allegations of rape and assault, some of the most heinous crimes against Mason Greenwood. I've really thought long and hard about doing this video, and, and the first thing I want to say here at the beginning, before I get into it and, and to discuss what's happened, and uh, yeah, it's as you, it fucking knocked me sick. It really, really did. I'm only going to be speaking with the facts, right? When it comes to contempt of court, when it comes to an open investigation like this, seriously, people, a word of advice be careful what you tweet, be careful what you say, because. It's a completely open investigation right now. The facts, okay, is that Mason Greenwood's girlfriend, Harriet Robson, released these images. I'm not going to pull the images up on screen. I'm not going to pull the audio file on. It's, it's fucking horrible to listen to. Truly, truly horrible. And yeah, it really fucking does sound like Mason Greenwood. And can you prove it at this point? No, you, you can't. But I, I'm not going to sit here and try and, and denounce her as, as a liar. She's made it up because some people are doing that and that fucking blows my mind. I'm going to pull some numbers up on screen here. These are numbers inside the England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. If anybody needs help when it comes to domestic violence, these are numbers you can ring. I'll put these numbers and I'll put contact information inside the comment section. Um, I'll, I'll pin it. Actually, I'm not sure. I might even turn comments off in this video. I'll put it in the description of um, this video. But, as I said, if we're speaking purely in facts, those images were all released this morning. <clears throat> Manchester United released a statement saying they don't, con they don't condone any sort of uh, domestic violence in any way, shape or form. Pending further investigation, what happened after that? Manchester United then announced that Mason Greenwood would not be training with the club whilst this is ongoing. Then the Greater Manchester Police released a statement saying a man in his 20s has been arrested on suspicion of assault and rape. Mason Greenwood wasn't named. The assumption, of course, is that it is him, but given that he isn't named, it goes to show you when it comes to names, when it comes to content of court, it's not a fucking joke, people. Take it seriously. But if you take the names away from this situation and you just look at what's happened, they... It, it knocks you sick. It really fucking knocks you sick. It, as I said, it was a proper... The photos, the audio file, man. The audio file. It's... It, it's, it's, it's fucking despicable. Completely and utterly despicable. And there's no... In any way, shape or form, justification. There's nothing. There's nothing. And, and the thing I... The thing I would definitely say here straight away is that people shouldn't be talking about, oh, maybe she's made it up. She's a gold digger. You know how sick and twisted that idea is. But of course, you've got to let the investigation go on. As, as you can see, just, I'm a little bit speechless. I, I, really, I really genuinely am. But if he did do what he is alleged to have done and as i said if that evidence is all points that the, that audio file is fucking damning it's yeah he should never ever ever play for manchester united again and that's a given i think everybody knows that but until this uh, investigation i suppose is is done the, it's, he's been arrested there's, there's been no sort of statement from mason mason greenwood or or, or his representatives and sometimes silence is deafening. But the whole situation, wow. It's um, fucking domestic violence, man. To, to do that to someone that trusts you, to someone that loves you, is sickening beyond words. And I, I would say that's probably a reason why I, I want to do this video, because... You, you remember when I did my video, my, when um, well, I was going through uh, quite a lot mentally myself. And, and the reason I did that video at the time was hopefully to then help somebody who might not feel empowered to speak about their own issues. 
And that's what I would say the purpose of this video is, is to leave these numbers inside the description. If anybody could possibly be helped and empowered to feel that they can speak out about it, because it's, yeah, it's, it's twisted me. It's proper twisted me. And I'm sure it's twisted you as well. And I'm sure as the days go on, um, more and more information is going to be coming out about this. Uh, the th something I found very odd, I'll be completely honest, something I found very fucking odd was the um, statement from her dad uh, saying that her phone got hacked um, and the family recommended that she took the photos down. And of course, that's immediately led to um, assumptions maybe that there was some sort of payoff and, and all these gossip and, and, and assumptions and, and just, just damning. Man, I can't get over that audio file. It's so unbelievably fucked up. And as I said, one of the most heinous crimes to, to, to do that to somebody who, who trusts you and, and, and loves you. It's, it's twisted beyond words. And taking Mason Greenwood out of the equation, to, a, any case of domestic abuse is a disgrace. An utter, utter disgrace. And... This will be the only time that I speak about this situation until it is completely and utterly concluded. Uh, so please don't continue to ask in comments on the live streams or anything. I just wanted to say this on the situation and when further updates do come about it, I'll bring them to you again. But I will reiterate one more time here. These are the helplines for... Um, Anybody who's suffering from domestic violence inside England, inside Wales, inside Scotland, and Northern Ireland, and down here as well, the UK men's advice, um, USA and Australia too. I'll leave these numbers in the comments. I'll leave more information, links to websites, anything that could potentially help somebody who's in a situation where they're currently vulnerable and they don't know where to turn. But yeah, that audio file, man. It's, it's the audio file I can't get over, really. It's, it's fucked up. It really is. The whole situation is, yeah, it's not me sick. It's not me sick. And if Mason Greenwood has done that, there's no way he should play for Manchester United ever again.